Good morning, everybody. It's 623 in the morning and it's 51 degrees. Yay! See these cheeks? They're not red. Look what I get to see this morning. I'm in my own secret garden. Look at this. All these flowers. They're everywhere. It smells so beautiful. I feel like I'm in a flower shop. One of the things I meant to point out over the last few days is Pennsylvania is just beautiful. Look! And there's a water source down there I get to listen to while I'm walking. Woohoo! However, I do want to point out one thing for those of you that have not been here. And I haven't been to every state. But there is a lot of poison ivy here. Look at all these flowers. Oh, I love my morning. Ooh, aren't these pretty? Look at those. Nice. I don't know what those are, but they're pretty. Yeah, lots of poison ivy. Please, if three let them be, it's kind of hard to walk and let them be when they're all over the side of the trail. They're not bad. Look at this. Oh, that's pretty. Boardwalk. Yay! This is the best morning ever. Good morning, son. Birds are so happy today. One of my favorite songs is a song by Nickelback, If Today Was Your Last Day. And it talks about how life is a gift. It's not your given right. And I try to remember that because today is a gift. going to a little bridge here. It's actually the road. And you get to see this absolutely beautiful water source. I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to look it up and share it with you. Just came out from that little bridge. and But I'm at the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. Scott Farm. It's old barns. They're awesome. We just went over the Cano do Gwinnett. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, creek. And now we're on this lovely, beautiful boardwalk. I like this boardwalk. That is where I just have come from. 
and now I'm heading into a field and this grass is, comes up to my shoulders. I don't know what this is, but that's what this field is. This is what a lot of Pennsylvania looks like. The farm with the silo there. Lots of farmland. They grow soybeans, wheat, corn, and I'm not sure what else. We've come through the field. And getting ready to go over this. I don't know what these are called, steps. That's all I know to call them. Look at that. I've just come out of the field and now I get to go down this road over, I believe this is I-81. I never thought I would be doing this. Good morning, Pennsylvania! Good morning, babies! Look at all of the honeysuckle flowers that have fallen to the ground. Wow! I just ran into a dogs man. Can't tell you how many times I've heard go dogs on this hike. Unless I run into somebody from Alabama or Florida. Then it's not exactly go dogs. That's okay. Not everyone can be the national champions. That's just the way it is. So I'm crossing under power lines. Can you hear it? I don't know why I think that's so creepy, but it is. <laughs> and now I'm back in the forest. Woohoo! Pretty. The honeysuckle fragrance in this forest is pervasive. It smells absolutely awesome. Mmm, it is so fragrant. There's a cemetery that's been here a long, long time. There are people buried here from 1802 and 1840. There's a lot of babies, um, headstones in there. I, there are a lot of babies' headstones in there. 
I just won't fill my cemetery with people's names and her, it, for me it's just a sign of it's just for me not for anybody else it's just my way of showing respect for the dead I can't do it I also cannot walk on top of the grave I'll walk all the way around it mm -mm. this is right next to a road there you go this car getting ready to go over some more of those steps. Well, interesting. I don't have to go up the steps. I can just go right here. Alrighty. Okay. I'm going to cross the street. Okay, so I've just run into Chowder and his beautiful dog, and so his dog's name is? This is Paya or Twist. Twist. Oliver Twist, because uh, she begs all the time. She always wants more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm and Chowder. I'm from Alabama. I'm Alabama Chowder originally. And uh, And you agreed to let me interview you with this Georgia hat on? I did. I know. I know. War <laughs> Eagle. War Damn Eagle. What are you going to do? Um, yeah, been on it for 80, 92 days and well over halfway. Can't wait to finish it. It's going to be great. My wife's joining me in uh, two weeks. Yay! Yay, I'm a teacher. I am trying to finish before the school year begins. All uh, those meetings. What What do you teach? I teach history and literature. For what grade? High school. And how many miles do you do a week? Uh, I could do, uh, without the dog, 110 to 125. That's about it. Yeah. Okay, well, I wish you well. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to interview you. No worries, no I, worries. I appreciate it. And he is hiking with Wedge, who I have not seen since Smokies. the Smokies when we were in a shelter with 17 people. That was a famous shelter. Flying Jay was there and Mary Poppins and Lost and Found was there, and Lane was there. That's right. That's right. A group of people, yeah. So I'm thrilled to see him. He has been um, hiking with a little bit of a incapacity issue, <laughs> if you've watched his videos, and uh, but he's doing really well. He's lost 35 pounds since I last saw him, so he has really lost a lot of weight. It's I love it when you run into people that you've seen and like so much on the trail and then you just bump right into them. It's it's one of my favorite things about this whole trail. Me too. Me too. I love it too. So why are you hiking the AT? What made you decide to do that? I wanted to ever since I was a kid. I was a boy. I was a Cub Scout. And oh. I live right by the AT and we were doing one of our Cub Scout hikes. Um, I didn't even know what it was because I was about nine years old at the time. And we saw these people walking the trail, and they had gigantic packs oh. and big beards. And yeah. They just looked like the toughest people I'd ever seen in my life. And my uh, den leader, <laughs> <laughs> my den leader was like, what are you guys doing? And they're like, we're walking from Georgia to Maine. And we're like, what do you mean? They're like, this is the Appalachian Trail or Appalachian, wherever you're from. I'm from the north, so it's Appalachian. <laughs> <laughs> so the Appalachian, <laughs> Appalachian Trail. Um and it started from Georgia to Maine, and we're doing it uh, in one, one, like one trip. So I thought that was the coolest thing ever, and decided right then that someday I'm going to do it myself. That is cool. And where do you live? Where is your home? I live uh, in a place called Highland Mills, New York. Uh, it's about 40 miles north of the city. Wow. Wow. Right by the AT. And when did you start? What day? February 15th. No. I'm slowing down. I thought I was supposed to get faster as this went along. It seems like I'm starting to slow down. Well, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, thank you for agreeing to in, uh, allow me to interview you. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me, and it's so great to see you again. Thank you. It's good to see you, too. I have to wonder if this day could get any better. Any better. I, I'm smelling honeysuckle, 
um, multi-floral roses. I don't know what those other flowers I'm smelling. It, it's just been so fragrant. It's a nice cool day today and I'm walking along and there's Wedge and I was just watching one of his videos last night. I haven't seen him since it says Smokies. So I was thrilled to see him and he's hiking with somebody named Chowder who I have not met before. A very nice man. Um, and then as Wedge was interviewing me for his channel, here comes Dob, who I have been wondering where he is for miles and miles and miles, and I've been tracking him. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like a stalker, but <laughs> I've been tracking him to see where he and Jersey were, and so we're all gonna end up in Duncannon at the same time in two days. Yay! I can't wait, and, um, Hopefully, we'll be able to eat dinner together. I am so thrilled. Oh, that's just awesome. The only two things that could make that better is if Jersey was there and my husband. That's it. Nothing could make that any better. Oh, that's terrific. What a... I am just so happy. Oh, H-A-P-P-Y, people. H-A-P-P-Y. I'm just happy, happy, happy.